Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariola Oreolua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your head, concerning your loved one, it shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. One more time. That that matter, this very day, the Lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. So why not sit down, get ready for a defined encounter for a life transforming testimony. You are welcome, Jesus' name. Welcome to today prayer avalanche in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, wherever you are joining me from, wherever you are logging from, I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can we all lift up our hands and let's appreciate our Lord, our God for another beautiful day. Wherever you are joining me from, wherever you are logging from, can we lift up our hand and let's bless his holy name. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him praise. Let's worship him. He's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. I want you to lift up your hand and bless his holy name. I want you to lift up your hand and worship him. I want you to lift up your hand and give him all the praise, give him all the honor. I want you to lift up your hand and celebrate God. I want you to lift up your hand and appreciate him for another day, another wonderful time. I want you to lift up your hand and say thank you, Jesus. Thank him for the gift of life. Thank him for what he has been doing in your life. I want you to thank him for what he's going to do today in your life, in your home, in your marriage, in your business, in your career. I want you to lift up your hand and bless his holy name. For he's a loving God, a caring God, a loving father. Why not just lift up your hand and appreciate him? Why not just lift up your hand and bless his holy name? Why not just lift up your hand and say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Our Lord, our God, we say thank you. Our Lord, our God, we worship you. Our Lord, our God, we give you praise. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for our life. Thank you for our home. Thank you for our marriage. Thank you for our business. Thank you for our career. Thank you for upholding us. Thank you for sustaining us. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, Holy Spirit, as I have come before you today, say, Lord, encounter me. Visit me, O Lord. Visit my work. Visit my home. Visit my marriage. Visit my business. Visit my career. In the name of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer for yourself? Ask the Lord God to visit you. Ask the Lord God to visit the work of your hand today. In the name of Jesus. Everything that concerns you, ask the Lord God to face it them. So, Lord my God, face it me this morning. If it's afternoon, if it's evening, whatever time is in your hand, ask the Lord God to face it you today. Let God face it you. Let there be divine visitation in your life. Let there be divine visitation in your home. Let there be divine visitation in your marriage. Let there be divine visitation in your business, in your career. So, Holy Spirit, face it me today. Face it me today. Visit me today. Visit me today. Visit me today. 
visit my work, visit my business, visit my career. Can you mention every area of your life? Ask the Lord God to visit you in the name of Jesus. God define visitation. Ask the Lord God to visit you. Let God visit you. Holy Spirit, visit me. My Lord, my God, visit me today. Visit my work, visit my business, visit my career. So, Lord, visit me today. 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 This issue in my life, mention that area. Say this issue in my life. This particular issue. So, Lord, visit it today. In the name of Jesus. Visit me today. Visit this issue. Mention that issue. Say, visit this issue. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Hear this, I hear this, man. I remember some years ago while I was working. The office I work, I work as a PA to a particular person. Sometimes you come to the office and uh, one of the procedure of letters or email, anything that maybe I want her to sign or anything that comes in, you just put them, arrange them on the table, on her table, a particular end. So when she's come, when she's ready, you come for her. Sometimes you come to the office and a lot of things, she just face another thing entirely. Sometimes you come to the office and um, she begins to go through them one after the other. Sometimes she come, she just look at them and turn them upside down. And she will go and start from the <laughs> she go and start from the last one. Sometimes she just come and she look at them and she pick the one that she wants to sign. But sometimes hear this. She come to the office. She will attend to everything from A to Z. And after that, she will even ask, or right, is there anything that you want me to sign? Or right, is there anything that you want me to attend to again? She will ask. Then at that time, I begin to think, is there anything? Is there anything? I say, no, ma. I say, okay, she'll be doing another thing. Like one hour after again, she said, Are you sure that there is no other thing that you want me to attend to today? <laughs> we see that Lord. Sometimes you come to the office. She will tell you, or I'm busy this morning. I want to attend to some. And uh, she pick. Why I'm sharing this is this. She decide what to sign on a particular day, what to do and what not to do including me. It is now that I understand uh, all those things there. When I come to the office in the morning, I have some, apart from coming in pray, I always like to go through all my mail, go through feedback from yesterday or so I decide who to, what to attend, which me to Sometimes I may have a mail that I won't reply for for days. And another one will come in immediately and I will attend to it. So somebody who have the mail of last or, or a month that have not replied may be angry that I send a mail to this boy, this boy have not answered me. And somebody will send a mail immediately that I will answer. Is it a partial? It's not a partial. I have answered to that one immediately that new one and the mail that came in two or three days ago or a week i'm still praying about it i may not reply i'm just be praying about it so which means it's a continuous work but this one you just mm, let me say to this one so that i can i can dedicate all my time to this one that is undone the same thing about god the same thing about God. The same thing about God. God shows when to answer, how to answer. God shows when to answer individual, 
going to answer. How to answer? For yours is to cry unto him. Lord, my own case, let it be among those that you answer today. Not tomorrow. Not next year. Not uh, do we understand now? Do we understand now? So can we lift up our hand unto the King of Kings, unto the Lord of Lords this morning? And I want you to cry out to him, Lord, this issue in my life, you mention it. Lord, today, I tell to it, answer it, oh Lord. By your mercy, answer this issue in my life. In my marriage, in my business, in my career, answer it, oh Lord. Can you lift up your hand and cry out to the living God? Ask the Lord God to answer this issue. Say, Lord, by your mercy, this particular issue in my life, answer it today. 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 Ask the Lord God to answer that issue. Mention it. Say my own case. This issue. This issue in my life. This issue in my marriage. This issue in my business. This issue in my career. Lord, answer it today. In the name of Jesus. Answer it today. In the name of Jesus. Answer it today. Answer me, O Lord. 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 Ask the Lord God to answer you today. Let God answer you today. Let God touch that matter. Let God approve that issue. Let God do his wonder concerning that issue. Mention it before the Almighty God. So, Holy Spirit, this issue in my life. Answer me today. 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 Ask the Lord God to answer you. In the name of Jesus. Let God answer you. 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 So, Lord, on this matter, answer me today. Let there be testimony. 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 Answer me today, Lord. My Lord, my God, answer this matter. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The second prayer we are going to pray to welcome ourselves this morning. The second prayer that we are going to pray. Isaiah 32, verse 15. Please open your Bible to that place. Isaiah 32, verse 15. God is about to answer somebody through that scripture. Isaiah 32, verse 15. Isaiah 32, verse 15. Please, I want you to open your Bible to that place. Let's not forget today is the 21st day of this month. I have, I have the leading that I should welcome us with those two prayers. We have settled the first one, the second one. We should, we should greet ourselves. Because that's the very first thing that God is about to do. God is a protocol breaker. He's a God of orderliness. He wants things to go orderly. But it's the same God that breaks protocol. There's nothing we do. <laughs> if you like, if your enemy like, let them smack their head on the wall. God is not moved. My boss will come. Sometimes we start from the top. Sometimes we just look at the, the whole letter on our table. She will just turn it. Who am I to say no? <laughs> Who am I to say no? Who am I to say no? Sometimes she said, today, I just want to pray. I don't want to be disturbed. I said, okay. And somebody will just knock. And I will be about to attend to the person. Sorry, my boss cannot see anybody today. And the next thing is, Orelu, how is that? <laughs> somebody that said, I don't want to attend to anything today. I don't want to do anybody. And don't, you also don't even disturb me today. That means no noise, no distraction. A pin must not drop in this office. I want total silence. She will now be the same person that said, Oh, how is that? She will, she will make it loud so that that person will hear. Say, man, he's somebody. What does she want? What does he want? 
<laughs> if he want to attend to that person, he said, I want to see you. Let her come in. Let him come in. So who am I to not say, Ma, you say you don't want to see anybody today. Ma, you say you don't want to see anybody today. Who am I? The same thing about God. It is your turn to be answered this morning in the name of Jesus. You, that woman, today is your turn to be answered in the name of Jesus. You, that man, today is your day of deliverance in the name of Jesus. As you are hearing me right now and you are claiming it, today is your day of manifestation in the name of Jesus. Today, the book of remembrance of good has opened concerning you in the name of Jesus. Today, it is your turn. It is your season. 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 In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 32, verse 15. How can you tell me you don't want to say anybody? And I will be mindful of that. You know, I want to pull it on my head. <laughs> be serious about it. So that nobody will distract you. And the next thing, she will scream. Oh, hello, how is that? What does he want? She will, she will say so that. Say, that person say, Mommy, it is me. Oh, I need your help. Say, come in. <laughs> come in. Ah, every one of you that is not yet your turn, according to woman sense, according to medical sense, according to woman being. At all, according to the line numbers in your lineage, if we need to be taking the one after the other, it is not yet your turn. But hear me. God is the alpha, the beginning, and the end. The same God that is the Alpha and is the end, it will take it will make him to approve it that this very day, this very minute, this very hour, this very season, it is your turn in the name of Jesus. I'm still waiting for that sister to open to that place. Because you are taking this scripture, you are running with it the rest of this year. The rest of this year. The rest of this year. Isaiah 32, verse 15. I shared a testimony while I was um, with uh, one of my mother in the Lord, Prophet Sonset Sui Wali, when she, while I was with her learning about uh, prophetic intercession. One day she needed to go to South Africa for ministration, and uh, she said, All right, today I need to go and, uh, uh, what do you call it, submit my application for South African visa. So, uh, but I'm busy, I can't go. I don't feel like going out. So you will go. Then what you just need to do is you go with your document, you go with your your money for visa, you go, you just join them, join the queue in the morning, and they will be coming one by one, they will interview you. The moment if you approve, you pay the money, they will collect your visa, come back uh, tomorrow, come back in two days' time, your visa will be ready. Amen. And if they don't uh, approve it, you go back home with your money and your visa. It's as simple as that. On getting there that day, the queue was long. I was my number was like over 100, 100 or something. So I joined the queue. So within me, I was saying this will thing will not work today because I would before the man, yeah, it's only one man. Before the man we attend to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or two hundred. Uh uh. It's not computer now, he will be tired. <laughs> so with that, I was happy because if the man asked me too many questions, I don't know how we answer. Suddenly, the man came out before they asked us five, five, I think either five by five or ten, ten, ten people to go inside. The man just came out to the gate. So, as the man came out to the gate, and you know, the people in the front they were trying to push themselves. So, the security were trying to stabilize the queue. Don't push yourself. The man just look at everyone. The man just said, Every one of you on the line, turn back, face your back. So we just thought that the man want to make sure that the number, the uh, queue was in order, Linus was in order. Man just said, everybody turn around. He, no, he has the, one of the security. He said, go to the last person on the queue. Go and stand at the back of that person. So the security man came and stood at the back of us, the last uh, number. So he now said, every one of you, now turn around and face that security man. All of us will turn around and face the security man. And he now said, start number one from the last person. <laughs> number one from the last person. Take number from the last person. Number one, number two. So my number was around number five. Number five or number six. Before it was after 100. But suddenly he changed it around. When we take the number this time around, my number was I think maybe number four, number five or number six. 
And you now say that is how you will enter. <laughs> Amen. The number that was above 100, which means only God know when, if it's going to be my turn that day, only God know. The man will be tired. Me too, I will be tired. Suddenly, I became one of the first set of people that was attended to. First set of people that was attended to. I decree, I declare concerning you, sir, concerning you, man, today. In the name of Jesus, it is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn. That it is your turn. 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 This very day, this very week, this very season, it is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn. 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 I'm not hearing you. I say in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. Every protocol on ground. Every spiritual protocol on ground. Every woman order on ground that will make your time, your season of testimony to be far. Every protocol on ground that is saying it is not your time. Every protocol on ground that is saying it is not yet your time. I decree, I declare, it is your turn in the name of Jesus. That protocol, the Lord break it. That order, the Lord break it. That protocol, the Lord break it. That order, the Lord break it. That protocol, the Lord break it. That order, the Lord break it. That protocol, the Lord break it. That order, the Lord break it. That protocol, the Lord break it. That order, the Lord break it. Every protocol on ground, every order on ground that is saying it is not your time, it is not your season, it is not your time, it is not your season. I decree, I declare. That protocol, that order, the Lord terminate it in the name of Jesus. The Lord terminate it in the name of Jesus. The Lord terminate it in the name of Jesus. The Lord terminate it in the name of Jesus. The Lord terminate it. 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 How can you be number over hundred? Over hundred. Over 100, 100 or something, and suddenly everything turned around. Nobody, there's nobody to query the man. It was the ambassador himself, not uh, assistants, not office uh, workers, not uh, the ambassador. So I can't forget the incident. The ambassador, ambassador himself that came out and said, I changed the rule. The rule before, you start from this person, but this hour, I'm changing the rule. Go and start from the last person. So who is going to query him? Who is going to tell him that you don't know what to do? Who is going to say what you have done is wrong? You say, you say, inside your pocket. The one say, carry your passport and go back to your house. Today, every one of you that you are listening to me, that there's, a, there's an order on ground that in the next, in the next, even some of you, the next few years, it won't get to your turn. But today, today, the protocol breaker, the, the one that break orders in order to suit his children, we break protocol for you in the name of Jesus. He will break protocol for you. He will break order for you. He will break protocol for you. He will break order for you in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 32, verse 15. Until the Spirit is poured upon us from all eye, and the wilderness become a fruitful field, and the fruitful field is counted as a forest. Praise the Lord. Until the spirit be poor, until the spirit is poor, until the spirit is released, until the spirit is released on us from I. That means there's a spirit that God must release. There's a spirit that must come upon you. There's a spirit that God must release from above. And when that spirit come upon you, it will change your, it will change everything in your life. Your wilderness. Wilderness is a place where nothing function, where nothing grow. Your life, your marriage, your business, your career, that you don't have testimony, that you don't have anything to talk about. 
He will change it and make it fruitful. A fruitful field where you have resource. Where you have resource. Today I decree, I declare the Lord will change your life around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will turn it around in the name of Isaiah 32, verse 15. Until the Spirit is poured upon us from on high, and the wilderness become a fruitful field, and the fruitful field is counted for a forest. The wilderness is area, area your life, your marriage, your business, your career, where is where nothing grows, where there is no testimony. A wilderness is a place where there is no transaction, where there is no growth, where there is no event, where there is no growth, where there is no multiplication, where, where you cannot, there is nothing to show, there is no testimony. But the Bible says, until the spirit is poor upon us from God, from I, and that wilderness will now become a fruitful field. Your life, that you don't have testimony, that area of your marriage where you don't have testimony, that area of your life where it's not fruitful, where there is no event, the Bible says it will be transformed to a fruitful field. Your work, your marriage, your business, your career, your husband, your wife, your children, every area of your life that is not fruitful will be turned around. You are going to lift up your hand this morning, this day. You are going to decree the second welcome prayer for today. He said, until the spirit, until, that means this transformation will not happen unless the spirit from God come upon you. Until, this thing will not happen until the spirit from God come upon you. That is the spirit of transformation. That will come upon your marriage, transform your marriage. That will come upon your little business and transform that little business and it become mighty. Can you lift up your hand? Say, oh Lord my God. Say, Holy Spirit. Say, Spirit of Transformation. I can hear you. Say, Spirit of Transformation. Say, my life is available. Say, come upon my life today. In the name of Jesus. Upon the work of my hand. Spirit of Transformation. My life is available. Come upon my life. Come upon my work. Come upon my business. Come upon my career. Can you decree and declare? Say, spirit of transformation, my life is available. Come upon my work, upon my business, upon my career. In the name of Jesus, can you decree and declare? Call him, spirit of transformation. Say, my life is available. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, the spirit of transformation. Come upon my work, upon my business, upon my career. In the name of Jesus, say, spirit of transformation, my life is available. Come upon my work, upon my business upon my career. This very day, spirit of transformation, my life is available. Come upon my work. Come upon my business. Come upon my career. In the name of Jesus. Say spirit of transformation. I can hear you, my brother. I want you to shout it loud and clear. Say spirit of transformation, my life is available. Come upon my work. Upon my business. Upon my career. In the name of Jesus. Say the spirit of God. Say the spirit of transformation, my life is available. Come upon my work, come upon my business, come upon my career. In the name of Jesus, say spirit of transformation. I can't hear you, I want you to shout it loud and clear. Say spirit of transformation, my life is available. Come upon my work, upon my business, upon my career. In Jesus' name we are praying. People may say it's not yet your time. But because God is saying it is your time. When you release that spirit of transformation upon your life, it, you may be one out of a million. You will be singled out because you carry the spirit of transformation. Oh, this offer, we have an offer. We can only give it to two people. Even this is just a single offer. It's meant for one person. You look at your qualification. You know you are not qualified. You know you are not qualified. Hear me, sir. Hear me, ma. God qualified those who are not qualified. That's what makes him to be God. He said, it's not by power, it's not by might, but by my spirit. By my spirit. What spirit? The spirit of transformation. When the spirit of transformation is upon you, when the spirit of transformation is upon your marriage, when the spirit of transformation is upon your business and your career, when men are saying that they say, cast it down, the spirit will be lifting you up. Because the spirit, you, your life must be transformed. 
when when there are, there are issues on ground that that will push you back, but because you carry the spirit of transformation, the spirit will break every order, every protocol. Micah seven verse eleven. Micah seven verse eleven. He said, "When it is turn, your turn, when it is your time, for God to build you, for God to establish you." He said, "Every decree shall be far removed." Micah seven eleven. The day that God is going to establish you, every decree is start to be turned by turn. You cannot jump kill. You cannot break protocol. Turn by turn. But because it's your time, it's your season. The man came out and said, the order is, you take it from number one, number two, number three, number four, and it goes like that. But because there's a spirit of transformation for somebody at the back, he said, everybody turn around. Let's start the number from the last person. Today, there's somebody in the house. There's somebody that is listening to me. The spirit of the living God, the spirit of transformation is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. Can you lift up your hands? Say, Holy Spirit. Say, the spirit of transformation. My life is available. My marriage is available. My business is available. If you are believing God for fruit of the womb, say, my womb is available. Say, spirit of transformation, come upon my life. Transform my life. Transform my work. Transform my business. Transform my career, spirit of transformation. Come upon my life, upon my work, upon my home, upon my marriage, upon my business, upon my career. That spirit of transformation. That spirit of transformation. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now, how this one to eat before we go into today's prayer. Say, protocol breaker. God is a God of orderly, a God of uh, protocol. He wants him to go. Uh, stage by stage, level by level. Don't jump, don't do, don't, you know. He gave order, but he see the same one that we see come and break the order. Jacob, I have loved. Esau, I have hated. What was the sin of Esau? No, nothing. Right from when they were in the womb. If they have, as soon as maybe they have given back to them, we say maybe because one sucked breast more than the other one, hey, where that baby? So because this one cheated on this one, maybe that was the sin. No. Right there, why their mother have them in their womb? God said, I love one. I don't like this one. <laughs> what was the sin? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Micah 7, verse 11. In the day when your walls are to be built, the day that you are to be established, the day every ruins in your life, every setback in your life, every setback in your home, in the day that we are to build you, that we are to establish you, look at what God said. In that day, that the decree shall be far removed. He didn't say that the, the decree shall be taken away. He said it shall be far removed. And why? We take it away. So after we have said to you, we can return it back. That's the meaning. The event between shall be far removed. That means it's not taken away. We are not removing it. Shall be far removed. We shift it. We shift the decree. The decree that said when you have co- when your business collapsed, that business cannot be rebuilt again. We remove it. After we have we have we have restored your business, we put the decree back. Other people can carry it. But you, we break protocol for you. There are family in Israel that it's only those families that can be crowned as a king. When it was the time of Saul, we removed the order. Saul said, my family, we are not from royal family. We have removed the order for you. It's only those people who have money that can get to the throne. We have removed it from you. Oh, in my family, I'm the least person. We remove the order for you. Somebody, you are listening to me this early. You are listening to me right now. You are online, you are listening to this audio. Every decree, every protocol on ground that will not allow your testimony to manifest this season. Every order that is on ground, every decree that is on ground, every system that is on ground, the Lord will remove them for you in the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, say according to Micah 7, verse 11, say every decree holding me down, every decree holding my testimony, every decree postponing the days of my joy, say in the name of Jesus, say be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, 
be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed. Can you decree and declare? Let those decrees be far removed from you. Let them be removed from your life, from your home, from your marriage, from your business, from your career. Every standing order, every standing decree, say in the name of Jesus, Lord, let them be removed. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I join my faith with the faith of every one of you. Those of you that God must set to today. Those of you that God must set to this hour. Those of you that God must set to this week. Those of you that God must set to this month. Those of you that God must set to thee as we are talking right now. I decree, I declare, by the mercy of the Almighty God, let God arise for your help in the name of Jesus. Let God release your help in the name of Jesus. Let God release your help in the name of Jesus. Let God release your help in the name of Jesus. There is a family. Sudden darkness cover your family. You know when there is darkness in a place, you don't know see the beauty, you don't see the glory, you don't see the honor. Everything will just be dark. They may be talking, they are there, some things exist there. But because of the, of the, of the darkness, there won't be production, there won't be productivity, there won't be promotion, there won't be joy. As we are praying, the darkness, God is rolling it away. So to that family, congratulations. And those family that they decree on ground that God is removing it today, I join my faith with your faith and I decree, I declare, every, every decree on ground, every standing, every standing authority, every decree, every process, every system that will not allow you to rejoice this is it. The Lord remove them in the name of Jesus. The Lord remove them in the name of Jesus. The Lord remove them in the name of Jesus. The Lord remove them in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You have been interviewed this very month. Today is 2021. 20, Today is 21st. Within the next uh, 10 days, you have been interviewed. It shall be unto your favor in the name of Jesus. It shall be unto your favor in the name of Jesus. It shall be unto your favor in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. I hear this. Prophesy. I declare, I declare, I prophesy upon that, that family. Your help shall be released. This is in the name of Jesus. Your help, let it be released in the name of Jesus. Your help, let it be released in the name of Jesus. Your help, let it be released in the name of Jesus. Your help, let it be released in the name of Jesus. Upon that family, upon that family, I can hear the sound of abundance, the sound of joy, the sound of joy. Just like when they jingle, when somebody is jingling a bell, I can hear the sound of that joy, the sound, the sound of joy, the sound of joy. The sound of joy, the sound of joy, the sound, there's a sound of joy, the sound of joy, the sound of joy, the sound of the sound of joy, the sound of celebration in your family. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, we give you honor. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Every one of you that you are having issues in your family, the Lord said to it in the name of Jesus. Every family. Why? There's a family. Every one of you in that family, you are sick. Health issue. Everybody are having health issue, health issue, health issue, health issue. Ah. The source of that health issue, I cause it in the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. In that family that all of you, all of you, you are not living together, but you are brother and sister. For all of you, you are having, all of you are just having health issue. This one headache, this one this, this one that health issue. And they are all serious health issue. The source of that health issue, the source of that affliction in your family, I curse it in the name of Jesus. I curse it in the name of Jesus. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name. Now, I welcome us to today's ministration. The, the 21st, the 21st day of this month, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. We continue from where we stopped yesterday. Arise and contend with them uh, in battle. Contend for your testimony. And I gave us some scripture. Isaiah 26, verse 11. Isaiah 27, verse 4. Isaiah 30, 27. Amos 7, verse 4. And uh, both in the morning... My business must prosper and uh, yesterday I gave us some scripture that talk about different kind of fire, the fire that met. 
and the fire that consume, the fire that devour. We are going to continue today with fire. Somebody say fire. Somebody say fire. Somebody say fire. Judges 15, 1 to 15. Judges 15, 1 to 15. Judges 15, 1 to 15. Because of our time, I will just read one to, permit me to just read one to four. And uh, that's where we are reading from. That's where we are praying from. Your enemy are in trouble. I announce it. Your enemies, they are in trouble. Ah, say fire for fire. How many of you enjoyed yesterday's ministration? How many of you that your kids have been sent to yesterday? How many of you, you are online? You are online right now. You are listening to me right now. But the first set of prayer that we are praying, your case, your case has been said to. I'm raising up my hand too. Praise the Lord. Judges 15, 1 to, 1 to 15, but I will just read 1 to 4 because of our time. After a while, in the time of which affairs, in the time of affairs, in the time of testimony, it happened that Samson visited his wife with a young goat and he said, let me go in to my wife, into her room. But the father, the wife father said, would not permit him to go. His father, his father-in-law would not permit him. I've said to everything that I need to be said to. So this is the last thing that I need to bring. So I brought it, young goat. So now let me go and meet my wife, my right, my benefit. But the father-in-law would not permit him to go. Every one of you, see, the Bible said, after a while, in the time of wheat affairs, it was the time of testimony, time of affairs. So he came to affairs, his right, his benefit. But a man now stood and said, no, you cannot enjoy your affairs, you cannot take your affairs. I'm here to announce, I'm here to declare, everyone, because this is your time of affairs, anyone that is saying you will not affairs, anyone that is saying you will not testify, the Lord wipe them off in the name of Jesus. The consuming fire of God consume them in the name of Jesus. The fire of God unto them in the name of Jesus. Say fire for fire. Oh, I can't hear you. Say fire for fire. Time of affairs. He came to possess his possession. And a man now said, no, you cannot go in. They have been hindering you. They hinder your father. They hinder your mother. They hinder them, your lineage. They have been hindering you. But this time, this time, this time, they will know that power has changed their hand. Let them come. Verse 2. Our father said, the father-in-law said, I really thought that you thoroughly hated her. A father-in-law that took something, dowry, we have said to him, and he now said, eh, this time around, when it was time for him to take it, I said, no, you can't take it. After with all the something the proceed that I decree, I declare again. Anyone that is standing to resist, to deny you your right, this is it. The fire of God devour them in the name of Jesus. Our father said, I really thought that you thoroughly hated her. Therefore, I gave her to your companion. Is not a younger sister better than she? Please take her instead. Did I tell you that I did not see her younger sister? I didn't tell you that. I saw the younger sister, but I prefer this one. This one is my right. Why will you not exchange my reward? Why will you not exchange my blessing? I prefer the sister. That's why I went for the sister. Do not change the sister for the younger one. Ah, anyone that is changing your benefit, anyone that has been changing your benefit, anyone that is changing your benefit right now, let the fire of God defer them in the name of Jesus. They are fire for fire. Let the fire of God defer them in the name of Jesus. Did Samson tell you that he didn't know that the younger sister was there before? I gave her to your companion. I, I, your benefit, I transfer it. Any power that has been transferred your benefit, when it is time for you to be rewarded, they will give it to another person. You labor, labor. When it is time for you to enjoy it, they will give it to another person. The fire of God will defraud them in the name of Jesus. You know what Take a sister, take a younger sister. Can you compare them? The senior sister, the younger sister. My reward was big. You're not changing to small one. Take the small one. Anyone that is short changing you, 
the fire of God will judge them today in the name of Jesus. Now look at verse 3. And Samson said to them, This time I shall be blameless regarding the Philistine if I harm them. So now, if I send, if I anything I do now, I shall be blameless. Because for this land, there must be reaction. If you send fire to where you are not supposed to send fire to, they can send the fire back. But now there's a reason. There's a reason for me to do to do anything I like to my enemy. You have reason. Do you have reason? To judge your enemy with fire. Are they be changing you? Are they be exchanging your testimony? Are they be postponing your testimony? So you have a reason. Let's now look at the action. I love the action. Then Samson went and caught 300 forces. And he took torches. That is light. Light, burning fire. Burning fire. Just like the torch of Olympic. That is it. So, the, you know, the torch, you have a stick and on the top, fire will be burning on it. That is what he's talking about. He took torches. Turned the forces tail to tail. That means he took two, two forces. He will tie their tail together. Two, another two forces. Tie their tail together. And uh, put a torch. That means the burning fire. He put it on, on it. And he released fast fire. When he had set torches on the fire, he let the forces go into the standing graves, to the affairs, to the property, to the camp of the Philistine, and burn up the, the shocks, the standing graves, as well as the fine yard and the olive groves. Their affairs. The one they kept. The one they just affairs. And the one they are about to affairs. Everything that belonged to them. The camp of the Philistine, the camp of the enemy, was leveled down as a result of the action. Why 300? Let's break it down before we pray. 300 forces. Why 300? 300 in the Hebrew language, they used to write it as T. What is the T? T in the talk, talk about, it pointed to the cross. It pointed to the cross. It should have taken 200. It should have taken 100. It should have looked for 400, 500, and other numbers of forces. But it decided to take 300 forces. That number points to cross. Points to cross. Today, Jesus Christ was hung on the cross. Jesus Christ bear all the pains on the cross. Jesus Christ received the one, the, the finger on the cross. The bitterness on the cross. Today, hear me, sir, hear me, man. Jesus Christ was crowned with, with tongues, with crown of tongues on the cross. Hear this, sir, hear me, man. Jesus Christ, on that, on that old rugged cross, he was pierced. You can imagine all manners of abominable things was done unto him. On that cross, he received shame, he received reproach. You know why? So that your life will not go through any affliction again. 300 forces. 300 is the number of cross. Today, by the cavalry, by the, by the finished work of, of Jesus Christ on that cross, every power that is introducing problem into your life again, everything that Christ has paid for, the pain, the affliction, the shame, the, the, the shame, the reproach that Jesus Christ has paid for, any power that is now introducing it to your life, sickness, infirmity, that Christ paid for on the cross of Calvary, any power that is now introducing it into your life, we set fire, the falling fire to them in the name of Jesus. First, he gathered three. He gathered 300. We have seen the number now. Then why forces? Why not goats? Why not sheep? First, spiritually, he talk about protection. He talk about cunning. He talk about deceit. They took things from him in labor and in a corny way, in a deceitful way. What happened? They deceit him. They exchange his virtue. Anyone, anyone, you know what he set fire on was the force, the 300 forces. And forces talk about protection. Forces talk about corny. Forces, forces talk about deception. He now set fire on them, on those forces. Number one. Forces represent, uh, talk about protection. He set fire on the protection of your enemy. Whatever your enemy rely upon, whatever your enemy depend upon, the power base of your enemy, whatever your, your enemy are enjoying that is making them to harass you, to torment you, 
is set fire on them. Today, the power base of your enemy, the strength of your enemy, the protection of your enemy, we set them on fire in the name of Jesus. We set them on fire. They are all there. They are groven. We set them on fire in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft meeting, every witchcraft congregation, where they deliberate, where they scatter, where they are flee to, we set them on fire in the name of Jesus. We set them on fire. We set them on fire. We set them on fire. First, it represents corny, corny people. It represents this it. Everyone, any organization that I've been dealing with you in a corny way, anyone that I've been using deception to receive from you, to take from you, today we send the corny, that deception, we set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Two by two. The two, the first is two by two. Why two by two? Two is a number of union. That means agreement. Every agreement of your enemy over your life. He said, though I'm joining now, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Anyone that agree, anyone that come together to form satanic alliance in order to punish you, in order to make sure that you stay longer in that problem. Today, their union, their agreement, we set it on fire in the name of Jesus. We set it on fire. 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 Two is a number of energy. The energy, the power of your enemy, we set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Two is a number of peace. The peace of your enemy. It's because they have peace. That's why they are disturbing you. When there's no peace in their life, when they are running from pillar to post, they will remember you. The peace of your enemy, the peace in their home, the peace in their marriage, the peace in their business, the peace in their earth, the peace of your enemy, we set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Two represent life path. What is the meaning? The path of your enemy, where they always take, what they always do, that is giving them joy, that is giving them peace, that is giving them comfort. The life path, everything, their marriage, their business, their career, we set it on fire in the name of Jesus. When you set the agreement, you set their energy, their power, their peace, their life path, represent everything about them. When you set them on fire, please, what remain? They are empty. They are empty. Because the Bible says, the forces devour everything. Then they are calm. Their agreement, their energy, their peace, their marriage, their business, their career. Please, after the fire devoid, what remains again? Nothing. That's why the Bible says, and the forces burn, devour everything. Everything that is giving your enemy comfort, their fire will devour them in the name of Jesus. What is next? I said tail to tail, white tail. I won't say that today. We'll come back next time. Let's pray. Jeremiah 2011. Jeremiah 2011. Jeremiah 2011. Jeremiah, tail to tail. It didn't start from the top. It didn't start from the end. It went straight to their tail. Jeremiah 25, 11. But the Lord God is with me as a mighty and awesome one. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble. Is it in your Bible like that? Everyone, every power, every principality, rulers of darkness that have been persecuting you, they will begin to fall in the name of Jesus. They will stumble. They will stumble. He said, I will not prevail. They have been prevailing. That is why they have been tormenting and harassing you. From today, those that have been tormenting and harassing you, those that have been tormenting and harassing your marriage, your business, your career, that affliction in your body that have been tormenting you, from today, they will no longer prevail in the name of Jesus. He said they will, be, they will be greatly ashamed from today. Those that have been mocking you, those that have been laughing you, those that have been tormenting you, we are the one behind you and they will still be laughing. Ah, from today, the Lord the, will begin to disgrace them in the name of Jesus. For they will not prosper. For they will not prosper. From today, everyone that have been sitting on your promotion, Everyone that will be diverting your testimony from today, they will no longer prosper in the name of Jesus. Now look at it. They are, they are many. They are congregation. Everlasting confusion will never be for, forgotten from today. As the fire of God will devour them. The event, CNN will carry it. You know the meaning. Because it's not something that they will be able to keep the shame. The whole world will see their shame in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand. He said, I came to receive my reward. My wife that I've worked for, that I've labored for, that I've said to. And the old man said, no, you cannot have her. 
Then the next thing, I've given it to another person. Who is that person that is changing your wages, your reward, like Laban and Jacob in the spirit realm? Say in the name of Jesus, say any power exchanging my wages, any power exchanging my reward, any power exchanging my blessing. Say, I set you on fire. 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 Begin to set them on fire. Any power exchanging your reward, exchanging your blessing, exchanging your testimony. Say in the name of Jesus, I set you on fire. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. He said, I came, let me go into my wife. But the father in law would not allow her. He was denied. Say in the name of Jesus, say any power, deny me my right, deny me my benefit. Deny me my blessing. Deny me my reward. Say in the name of Jesus, be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Any power deny me, deny this ministry is reward. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. Be consumed by 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 fire. Command the power to be consumed. Any power deny you your benefit. Deny you your right. Command them to be consumed. Let them 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 be consumed. In Jesus' name, we are praying. And the Father in Lord now said, I gave your wife your right, your benefit. I gave it to another person. Somebody who did not work for it. Somebody who did not labor for it. Somebody who's who is not, whose right is not. My reward, you not give it. Koni badu, koni cheyo. Say in the name of Jesus, say any power, transferring my blessing to another one, to another person, to another location. Say in the name of Jesus, you that power behind the transfer of my blessing, say I judge you by fire. 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 You by fire. Begin to judge them. Any power behind that transfer, any power transferring your blessing, that means give your blessing to another one. Exchanging your blessing. Say, I judge you by fire. 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 Any power that I always give it, I always transfer it to another person, to another place. I judge you by fire. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Then the next one. He said, I gave it to that to, to your companion. That means I gave it to another man. And that man took it. He will not try it again. You are going to declare and declare. Anyone in possession of my right, my benefit, they transfer it to you and you collect it. Ah, you have collected poison. You yourself, you, your generation will not know peace. Are you ready to take that prayer? Are you ready? <laughs> Let me not go there. Say in the name of Jesus. Say anyone in possession of my right, in possession of my benefit. Say in the name of Jesus, say anyone in possession of my right, in possession of my benefit, say in the name of Jesus, I send fire of God to your life, to your body, in the name of Jesus. Say I send the fire of God to your life, to your body, in the name of Jesus. Say your life, your body, receive fire, consuming fire, defunding fire, receive fire, defunding fire, consuming fire, receive fire, defunding fire, consuming fire. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You know why you need to judge that person? Somebody may say, hey, Pastor, it's not his fault. They gave him, ah, they gave you what I labor for. And you too, you took it. You not sat and you are enjoying it. You know, your family member, you yourself, you don't know peace. You don't know peace. You need to judge the other man so that, you know why? Next time, next time, when they try it with you, they call another person to come and take what belongs to you. Say, say already, no, I don't want. If you don't judge, they keep doing it. Another person will keep enjoying your benefit. But, eh? or, eh? no, I don't want. If it's anything that concerns already, I don't want. Some, some years ago, in a particular state in Nigeria, a judge, judge of a judge of a, a state was uh, removed illegally for almost is it over almost 20 almost close to 20 years so they swore in another judge and another judge took his position and he knew that he was in the, that man was removed illegally 
but because of his own benefit, he took it. He enjoyed it for close to close to 20 years. When the Supreme Court gave the order, final order, the man was restored. You that you took the position of another man illegally was sanctioned. It was Juro. That was the end of him. So the man, with all his what he just enjoyed within that short period of time, he later regretted. So similar thing, don't want to mention anything, any state. Similar thing was about to happen in one a particular state last week. And the judge that they mentioned that's supposed to took over the new position. That one quickly borrow borrow, borrow brains. Eh? So I will take it tomorrow. Supreme Court will not judge me, drove me. <laughs> he ran away. That is the meaning. What belonged to Samson, they gave it to another person, and that person took it. Ah. Oh, they, oh, they tell me, man. Say in the name of Jesus, say anyone in possession of my right, anyone in possession of my benefit, anyone in possession of my blessing, say in the name of Jesus, I send the consuming fire, the defaulting fire, I send it to your life, I send it to your body, life and body. His life, everything that concerns him, in his body. His body, he will begin to have health issues. The kidney will begin to pack up. The liver will begin to malfunction. His eyes will begin to see dim. Ah, he will not try it with me again. No. Are you ready to take that prayer? Say in the name of Jesus, say anyone in possession of my right, of my benefit, of my blessing, say in the name of Jesus, I send the consuming fire. I send the melting fire, I send the devouring fire into your life, into your body, the consuming fire, the melting fire, the devouring fire. I send it to your life, I send it to your body. I send it to your life, I send it to your body. I send it to your life, I send it to your body. I send it to your life, I send it to your body. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. Say I terminate by fire. Satanic legal right. Satanic contract. Satanic decree. Over my life, over my marriage, over my blessing, over my career. Save this satanic right, satanic legal right, satanic contract. Over my life, say I terminate it by the blood of Jesus. Begin to terminate it by the blood of Jesus. Begin to terminate it. Every satanic right, the right that Satan has over your life, that is making him to, ta- to, ab- to molest you, to judge you, to afflict you. To transfer your blessing. Say, I terminate that right. Every satanic right over my life, my home, my marriage. I terminate it by fire. I terminate it by fire. By the blood of Jesus. I terminate it. I terminate it. I terminate it. I terminate it. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, all oh my goodness. Presently in the prison of enemy. Presently in the custodian of enemy. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, be released back unto me. Don't just say release back. Release back to me. Say my blessing, my goodness, presently in the custody of a man or any woman or in the position, in the hand of the enemy. Say in the name of Jesus. Say be released back to me. Be released back unto me. My blessing, my goodness, in the custody of any man, in the name of Jesus, be released back unto me. Be released back unto me. Be released back unto me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. Say I release the fire of God. Say I release the consuming fire. The devouring fire. The destroying fire. The melting fire of God upon the enemy. Say in the name of Jesus. Say I release the consuming fire. The devouring fire. The destroying fire. The melting fire. Say I release them. Upon the camp of the enemy, say the defouring fire, the consuming fire, the melting fire, say I release them to the camp of the enemy. Say in the name of Jesus, say let the fire of the enemy begin to devour them. I show us from yesterday the scripture. Say from today, say let the fire of the enemy begin to devour them in the name of Jesus. Say fire of the enemy in the name of Jesus begin to devour them. Begin to consume them. Begin to destroy them. Begin to consume them. Begin to defraud them. Begin to consume them. In the name of Jesus, fire of the enemy. Begin to consume them. Begin to defraud them. In the name of Jesus, say in the name of Jesus. So unto the camp of the enemy, 
Say release the consuming fire, the devouring fire, the melting fire in the name of Jesus. Say every altar of my enemy, the altar talk about their strength. Praise it the Lord. That altar talk about their strength. That is the forces. Say altar of my enemy, the strength of my enemy. Say every instrument of what their warfare. Say their sham, their divination, their enchantment. Say, I set them on fire. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. The altar of my enemy, the strength of my enemy, the instrument of my enemy, their sham, their divination, their enchantment. Every instrument of my enemy, I set them on fire. I set them on fire. Whatever the enemy is using against me, against my ministry, against the work of my hand, I set them on fire. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Is this time correct? Mr. Hassan, Mr. Hassan, is this time correct? Oh my God. Okay, let's take one more. We'll come back, continue tomorrow. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Say by the power of the Almighty God. I can hear you. You lift up your hand as you are praying this one. Say in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Almighty God, say I pursue, I overtake, I recover all my rights, all my benefits, all my blessing, all my property. Say I pursue, I overtake, I recover. I pursue, I overtake, I recover. Every good thing that the enemy has taken from me, I pursue, I overtake, I recover. I recover, I recover, I recover. I recover, I recover, I recover. Begin to recover everything they are taking from you. Begin to pursue them. Begin to overtake them. Begin to recover 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 them. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I declare, I declare concerning every one of us this this hour. To the camp of the enemy, we release the consuming fire of God in the name of Jesus. We release the devouring fire of God in the name of Jesus. We release the mighty fire of God in the name of Jesus. Every power that has been changing the reward, the blessing of people in your lineage, this hour, let the fire of God devour them in the name of Jesus. Anyone that receives your blessing, your right, your promotion, things that belong to you, anyone that received them and they sat on it and they are enjoying them, today we release the fire of God upon them in the name of Jesus into their life, into that marriage, into that business, into that camp, into that body. We release the destroying, the consuming, and the melting fire unto them in the name of Jesus. What you have labored for, what belongs to you, what you have labored for, what belongs to you, whatever I have released unto you, what carry your mark, what carry your name from the heaven. Today, in the custody of the enemy, in the hand of any man, I decree, I declare, by the right hand of God, possess them back in the name of Jesus. Take them back, 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 take them back. Begin to recover them back in the name of Jesus. Any hand that is denying you your right, any authority that is denying you your right, Samson for the Lord said, No, you cannot go and meet her. Yet, it's a right. Anyone that stands in any position, deny you your right. Blocking your road, say no, say it's not yet your time today. Release the fire of God upon it in the name of Jesus. The fire of judgment, the destroying fire, the consuming fire. Let the fire of God arrest them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. We give you praise, we give you honor. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Hear this before we go. Hear this before we go. I've shared this testimony how a sister was believing God for marital settlement and I asked her to come for deliverance. The last day of the deliverance, as we are rounding up, the Lord said, the power behind our delay, they will send for her that the power died. She should not go. And within a few, within within two or three days, they sent for her. Your father is sick. You, not, you need to see you now, now. She refused to go. The second day they sent for her, your father have. And at the end of the day, they saw it where it was documented in his father's house. 
where it was documented that his father was in an occult, he was a member of a occult group, and the father was using her being single to renew the position. Because if the if the lady should get married, another person will take the leadership position. So the man was enjoying the leadership position. So this daughter remains single. If you have prayed to this prayer, and suddenly from nowhere they send for you, I don't know. They just send for you. That some not dead, but somebody received stroke. Somebody suddenly fell down and uh, was paralyzed. That you come suddenly. Please, I'm not saying it's the person who think twice before you go. It's what I just received. That one of you online, for you to know that God has released you, you have been said to. The man, just like Samson's father in law, that will be denying you your right. The man is going to be paralyzed and they are going to send for you. If you go, as you go into this day, the remaining hours this day, may the blessing of God rest upon us in the name of Jesus. May we go as you go, may we go and begin to possess our possession in the name of Jesus. Starting from this hour, the fire of God will not defy you. The fire of the enemy will not defy you. As you go, begin to possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Begin to possess inheritance in the name of Jesus. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. Your home, your marriage, your business, your career, everything that concerns you, you are covered with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Pray for every one of you. God is using to, to bless us, to encourage us, to support this vision with your seed, with your offering. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. May the fire of the enemy, may he go back and begin to defraud them in the name of Jesus. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. Till we come again tomorrow for the 22nd, the 22nd day of this month, the 22nd day of this program. I want you to look at somebody beside you. Say fire for fire. Say the fire will consume them. Now look at yourself. Say fire for fire. Say the fire of my enemy will defraud them. Say the fire of my enemy will defraud them. Say it is my time to contain and receive my blessing. In Jesus' name. As you go, let the Lord God go ahead of you, watch over you, and keep you safe and intact. Keep your marriage, keep your home, keep everything that concerns you. In Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend, you and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus, or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.